Hello. Welcome to the Konstanburg Amphitheater in Paris. I'm Ludger Johannes, group leader in the cell biology department. This is Winfried Römer from the laboratory, Patricia Bassero and C.C. Sykes from the physics department. We would like to discuss with you our recent paper in cell entitled Actin Dynamics Drive Membrane Reorganization and Scission in Clathrin Independent Endocytosis. This story builds up on findings that we have had published in 2007 in which we could show that the bacterial Shiga toxin that is shown in yellow here induces tubular endocytic plasma membrane invaginations without the help of the cytosolic machinery. Now this finding was exciting because it allowed us to propose an explanation for a more than 25-year-old conundrum in the field of study of this so-called clathrin independent endocytosis pathways by which many ligands, including the toxin, enter into the cells. And that is, why had researchers in most cases failed to detect code-like structures at sites of membrane invaginations? How would the plasma membrane be bent without a code? Our work suggests that Shiga toxin but also other glycosphingolipid binding pathogens such as Semium virus 40 themselves induce plasma membrane curvature changes, thereby driving the initial step of their uptake into cells. This is where the story of the current paper in cells starts. I am Winfried Römer, a staff scientist in Ludger Johannes' lab. We have observed that Shiga toxin induced tubules are stable at 37 degrees centigrade. Nice examples of tubules can be seen here or here. But these tubules undergo scission upon a temperature shift to 4 degrees centigrade. Tubules have largely disappeared. This occurred only when normal cholesterol levels were present. In cells from which cholesterol had been extracted, Shiga toxin induced tubules remained stable even upon a shift to 4 degrees centigrade. Together with further cell-based experiments and liposomal reconstitution studies, our data suggested that the capacity to undergo scission is an intrinsic property of the system. Shiga toxin-induced tubules appear to be prone to undergo scission in a spontaneous manner that depends on lipid reorganization, but not on pinchase activity, such as provided by dynamin. How can this occur? We have provided evidence that domain formation on tubules can lead to scission. I'm Patricia Basro. I'm group leader in the physics department of the Curie Institute. Let me explain briefly. Physically speaking, when two domains coexist on a tubule, they will tend to minimize the energy cost of the boundary of the domains by reducing the tube diameter. This force, called line tension, leads to tubule squeezing and, if strong enough, to tubule scission. In vivo, we expect that the membrane in Shiga toxin induced tubules is homogeneous but close to lipid demixing point. Thus, a temperature shift can lead to domain formation, line tension, and scission. But of course, temperature shift is not very physiological. We therefore turn to analyze the potential role of actin as a domain inducer. I am Cecil Sachs, group leader in the physics department. Previous work has shown that actin polymerization into a network is able to reorganize the lipids of the membrane and thereby favor domain formation. In fact, in cells, we found that actin was polymerizing on tubules induced by the Shiga toxin. In a minimal system, where we trigger actin polymerization at the inner leaflet of the liposome, we observed that tubules disappeared from the membrane. Shiga fluorescence was observed in the lumen of the liposome. Here, fragments are observed in the liposomes. Importantly, this phenomenon was cholesterol dependent. These data demonstrate that actin can trigger tubule scission in a manner that is independent of dynamin. Let me then summarize these findings in a schematic model. A Shiga toxin induced endocytic plasma membrane invagination is shown that we expect to be close to a lipid demixing point at physiological temperature. The polymerization of actin on the membrane leads to reorganization and domain formation, thereby generating squeezing forces at domain interfaces that then drive tube constriction and spontaneous scission. We suggest that this mechanism functions in some cases in synergy with dynamics such as for Shiga toxin. 
other endocytic tubular plasma membrane invaginations have been shown to be processed in a dynamic independent manner altogether and we expect that our findings will create a conceptual framework for the analysis of the scission process in these cases. In summary, one may say that we are now facing a new biological paradigm that allows integrating physics related to domain formation with the cell biological function of membrane scission.